start today uh, in part because um, Anita has not been feeling well when we got back from Cozumel yesterday she had a little bit of a cough so uh, since then I've been running her hot toddies um, regularly since last night and the rest of today but I'm gonna go into port and have at least a couple Belican beers because I really do enjoy those and um, uh yeah so gotta gotta at least get off the ship and take a tender into the port of belize right so we'll see what's next all right so we are on the water taxi just got off the ship and uh, gonna head to the port of belize now port of belize is about a 25 minute tender ride uh so you gotta give yourself about an hour round trip at me getting such a late start I basically will have an hour and a half once I get into port and do a little shopping have a belt of beer or two and, uh, and then get back on the tender and get back on the boat like I said Anita's uh, feeling a little under the weather so we're get some hot toddies she's gonna go to the spa and uh, have a big bottle of water sweat out some bad toxins and hopefully feel a lot better but uh, yeah we're on our way to Belize Tender. <clears throat> and we are gonna make a quick stop here, grab a couple pelicans, maybe do a little bit of shopping, and uh, get right back on the tender. Cause like I said, got just under two hours to enjoy the port here and be on our way again. Do not want to get left, as uh, in Belize there is no pier to run. If you missed that last tender. You can just uh, wave goodbye to the ship from about a mile away. So um, let me uh, turn this camera around and tell you why some people don't like the Port of Belize. Okay, so you see here, when you get into the port, you don't see a beach anywhere like you do in some ports. The water isn't exactly, you know, beautiful um, and you just see a lot of shops and uh, if you're looking for just that pure Caribbean beauty whatever when you pull up on your ship you're not gonna find it because it's just a bunch of shops so people that don't have anything planned when they come to the port of the Belize, port of Belize they're often disappointed and they don't care much for Belize now 
Belize, when you book an excursion, when you get out and actually enjoy the island and the surrounding waters and things like that, there is a lot to love about Belize. You just have to make sure that you do your research. So like now, you know, you're watching a YouTube video, learning a little bit more about the port, and uh, hopefully you'll do your research and um, you know, find an excursion that looks amazing. And then once you actually go on it, it is amazing. This wet lizard up here is my typical spot that I go to enjoy a Belican beer or two. So I think that's gonna be my first stop. So I will be back in about two seconds. All right, so made it to the wet lizard and enjoying my first Belican. Get a second. These are very tasty. If, uh, whenever you go to Belize, if you're a beer drinker, try the Belkin. It's really good. All right. Hey, everybody. Uh, Coach coming back to you. And I have Ivana with me from the Wet Lizard. I'm still enjoying my Belkin here. And um, she's going to tell you why you should visit the, visit, uh, the Wet Lizard, wet lizard <laughs> when you come into port. Okay. Hi, guys. Ivana here. When you guys come our special drinks and our local beers and we have some of the um we have some great seafoods we have comforters the best on, on, on the port today yeah and they are literally when you take the tender in from the uh cruise ship, whichever cruise ship you may be on, you walk, I would say about 100 yards from, yeah, in Terminal 3, and you will find them on the left-hand side, and like I say, it's where I stop all the time, and I only drink Pelican. It's Pelican, that's the number one beer in Belize, right? Yeah, and it's very good. I mean, it's not just, I don't just say that because it's kind of a local beer or whatever, but I genuinely enjoy it, so. Um, Wet Lizard has uh, great specials all the time. That's one of the reasons I stop in here. And uh, you can meet Ivana and the rest of her team. She drew the short straw, so she had to do the interview. But, <laughs> all right, next time, team. All right, so mission accomplished. We got in here to port. Like I said, I wanted to get off the ship and at least get into the port, look around the shops a little bit. But most importantly, enjoy a couple of Belican beers and uh, talk to the locals a little bit there. Saw Ivana. Wanted to give them an opportunity to uh, get a little shout out for their business, and um, yeah, it's a it's a cool little bar, open air, you know, nice vibe. They're they're in there joking around with each other, having a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, cool people, cool people in Belize. But um, like I said, I'm I'm headed back to the tender now. See what other trouble we can get into tonight. Hopefully, Anita's feeling better and uh, is up for going out a little bit. And tomorrow, they changed our itinerary because they canceled Roatan. And um, so we have a sea day tomorrow. Originally, it should have been Roatan. So we have a sea, a sea day, then we're in Yucatan Progreso, then another sea day, and we're headed back to the port of New Orleans. So it's, uh, as always, the cruises go super quick. So you gotta maximize the fun and pack as much fun into that week as possible. And a little something to look forward to for those of you that are following along with the vlogs. Uh, by popular demand and request, I had several of the bar crawlers. That video is up now. They said, we had so much fun. We got to do it again. So we're going to do a part two. We're going to do a, a bar crawl on the last sea day because uh, everybody had so much fun. I brought like 10 extra shirts with me. I already had a couple ladies. Um, request a couple shirts because they didn't get them the first time I'm like oh we we want to get shirts too so uh yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun it's a great great group of cruise team members or as marky mark was referred to as as coach cruisers and uh we're gonna just keep having fun all right let's see what else we can get into This is where most of the 
us to walk through here since our tender dropped us off down below. Hey, Chris team, so back at you. Um, I am in the uh, sauna, if you couldn't tell. And anyway, I'm uh, sweating out those bad toxins from having too much of the cheers package. Anyway, I, I mentioned this in a previous video, but I thought I'd throw it in here too because we have so many new subscribers and I appreciate that. Thank you. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. But I'm going to become Dr. Cruz for a second here and uh, tell you it's very easy when you go on vacation, especially a cruise vacation, whether it's an excursion with unlimited alcohol or you have the cheers package or you just partied a little too hard, whatever else like that you might be feeling pretty crappy one day when you wake up. And uh, for me, my best experience or my best knowledge that I can pass on is to get one of these. Now I put, uh, they have hydration packs that multiply the hydration and water. This one, as you can probably tell is orange. Um, so I, I pour that in there, but you know, I've already drank, as you can see about half this bottle. I will drink this whole thing before I leave. And um, again, I'm just gonna sweat out a lot of bad toxins. You come out of here feeling so much better. So again, if you drink a little too much, uh, not feeling so good, come into the sauna or the steam room, get yourself a big bottle of water like this, drink it all up, drink every drop, and may drink more if you need to, and uh, sweat all those toxins out and you'll be feeling good to go for the rest of the evening. And uh, yeah, you'll thank me for it. So a little tip from Dr. Cruz, Coach Cruz, and Cruz team, we'll talk to you later. All right, so I gave this tip uh, when I did a series on the Carnival Valor, and I'm um, giving it another tip as well, especially for large families, you might have four in a cabin or something like that. Um, there are showers in both the men's and ladies' washroom, so if you have a lot of people trying to get ready for dinner that evening or whatever, and you need another shower, rather than waiting turns, you can come up here and they also have lockers. Um, so you can lock your stuff up, bring a change of clothes. And uh, they have these lockers here that you can use and just punch in a key code or anything. Um, I mean, a key code of your choice and, and be able to access your clothes or whatever you brought up here to change into or whatever. So that's just a time saving tip. And uh, especially, like I said, for large families, or if you just, you know, get out of the gym and you're all sweaty, you don't want to go back to the cabin all sweaty. You can take a shower here, certainly, and just uh, bring the change of clothes with you. So another tip. All right, there we go. So how many, um, how many people would you say on average a night get double espresso specifically for espresso martinis? In this room, just you. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. So people are missing out. Because but, people don't know yet that they can do coffee here and espresso martinis over there. So, and they are awesome. I can't yeah. believe, I was just curious how many people do that. So You're I'm getting a, I'm getting a double espresso, please. Anything for Anita? Uh, no, she said she doesn't want one. Oh, there you have a tip. Um, get the uh, <laughs> get the espresso, get a double espresso at the Java Blue Cafe on a carnival ship. Take it to the Alchemy Bar and say, I want an espresso martini and let the alchemist hook you up with one of the best drinks you'll ever have. And you can thank Coach Cruz for that too. Not too sweet, no. Not too sweet. Yeah. No. You, you drink your coffee with cream? Yeah, usually. A little bit. Not a lot of cream. Not, not you know, I don't make it too white. But, so, here's the second part. Yeah. Second part of the deal is bringing the espresso down here to get your espresso martini made. Aladdin is doing it for us tonight.
finished product. All right, Brian, enjoy. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Looks awesome. I just can't get away from a good